In this video tutorial, we are going to have a look at how we can create lists in Python. Now lists are basically, as the name suggests, lists of items stored inside of a variable. Now in previous videos, we've been used to storing a single item in a variable. But in today's video, you're going to see that you can actually store multiple items inside one variable. So in today's video, we're making a shopping list. And in that shopping list, we're going to store multiple items of food. So let's get started. It's actually quite easy to make yourself a shopping list. First thing you need to do is you need to come up with a variable name. Okay, so the name of our variable is going to be called shopping underscore list. Remember with variables, um, they can't be multiple words. The name of the variable can only be one word, so that's why I had to put an underscore in here. Once you've written the variable name, you need to write equals and then open up a set of square brackets. And inside the square brackets, you put in the items you would like to include in your list. Now, each item needs to have quotation marks around it, and they need to be separated by commas as you go through each item. So I'll give you an example of that. Let's add apples to our shopping list first. You can see I put quotation marks around apples. Now I'm going to put a comma to separate it from the next word. And the next item I'm going to add on the list is bananas. And then I'm going to close the quotation marks, put another comma, and I'll add a final item to the shopping list, which is carrots. And when you finish writing your list, just close off the square brackets. And there you go, you've created a list in Python. I'm going to save that as shopping list. And I'm going to run my code. And you'll see absolutely nothing happens yet. We've created the list, but we haven't actually told it to print out the shopping list onto the screen. So let's simply write the word print on the next line down and we're going to print this variable here, shopping list. And that should display all the items inside of our shopping list. Okay, so let's save it, run the code, and there you can see down below apples, bananas and carrots all printed on the screen. Now it is a bit ugly. I know with those square brackets and quotation marks still around the words, it doesn't look like a very neat shopping list. So there is one other way that you can print out all the items in the shopping list and make it look a little bit neater. And that's by using a for loop. Now we looked at for loops in some of our previous videos. Okay, so I'm going to delete this last line we put in that printed the shopping list. And instead, I'm going to start writing a for loop. So start by writing the word for. Now if you forget what... Um, for loops are all about basically they run they can run over a list of items and each item that it picks up in this list it's going to process a piece of code so basically let me just write the code that we're going to do and then i'll explain what's going to happen so it's only two lines it's very quick we're going to write for i in shopping list colon and the next line we're going to print i and that's it so let me quickly explain what's happening there. So we've created a for loop. That's what the word for is all about. And then we've created a variable i. Okay. i is going to start by being set to the first item in our list, which is apples. Okay. Um, you can see that it's accessing the shopping list here. All right. So for i, and we're working inside this shopping list. Each time we run the code, or each item that it picks up in this list, it's going to print it out on the screen for us. And that's all that code is saying. So as we run our code the first time, I will be set to apples, and it will print apples onto the screen. As we run the code again, okay, we go to the next item, and I will be set to bananas. So we'll print bananas onto the screen. Okay, the code will run again. This time it will pick up carrots. So I will be set to carrots, and we'll print carrots on the screen. And that's basically how that for loop's working. Once it gets to the end of the list, it just stops. Okay, it jumps out of that for loop and it will process any other code that's below it. If there's no other code, well, the program will just end. Okay, so let's save that and run it. And you can see now you've got the three items in your shopping list looking a fair bit neater than they were before. Okay, so that's another way that you can display the items inside of your shopping list. Now I'm going to finish up this video here, but I'm going to come back and keep working on this shopping list. We're going to um, perform a few more functions such as adding items and removing items from the shopping list in the next video.